brilliant feminist writer, Margaret Atwood, said, You're never going to kill storytelling because it's built in the human plan. We come with it. And today I'm going to explore, in brief, exactly what she means by this. P.S. Don't worry, this isn't a proper lecture. It's still only a couple of minutes long, but it's maybe a slight deviation from the normal content I share. And why not? It is Christmas after all. You're listening to The Everyday Storyteller, a podcast for women with something to say. And I'm your host, Hilary Solzman, lover of all things story, including the fascinating science behind it. I'm often asked why I care so much about storytelling. Yes, I'm a huge advocate of increasing the number of female voices in the world, but it's also because it's one of those things that fundamentally make us human. It's also one of the reasons that we've been able to survive so long as a race. That and the invention of fire and maybe Netflix. No, just kidding. Seriously. Just like Margaret Atwood says, our brains are literally wired for storytelling. We come with it ready made. We just need to know how to tap into it. And this comes down to science and understanding how our brain works differently when it hears a story versus any other type of data or content. Clever little bits like our sensory cortex and our limbic system are the engine room of storytelling, reacting and flexing when our brain detects stories and releasing chemicals to give us all the feels. Like cortisol, which helps us remember, making stories 22 times more memorable than facts and figures alone. It's also what my storytelling business, 22 Stories, is named after. Or there's oxytocin, a chemical which, in the right doses, promotes empathy, enabling us to see ourselves in other people's stories and creating a sense of trust, which is key for relationship building. And dopamine, of course, the happy chemical which makes us feel all kinds of groovy. So here's something for you to think about today. What's the number one thing you want people to know about you and what you do? the fundamental nugget that you hope someone never forgets. Have a look back through your content and see how you've talked about it in the past. Is it all very factual? If so, why not try and turn it into a story? Use a recognisable structure like Once Upon a Time to make it clear to your audience's brains what it is. And try and weave in more emotion, descriptive words to get all of those receptors firing up and their chemicals flowing. Feel free to wow your Christmas guests with your newfound brain knowledge. Lecture over. Thanks for listening.